One of the things I remember when I was a child was sitting down and watching television or a movie with my parents. And what I find in my home now is that we all sit on the couch together, but each of us has our own device in front of us. And I think this is becoming more and more common. My husband will be sitting there with his laptop, I'll have my smartphone, and then my son's sitting there with his tablet, and everybody's doing something different. It's not as though we're not talking to each other because we still are having conversations, but that's how we spend our pastime. I don't know if the days of sitting down and watching a movie together are over entirely, but the only time we do that is when we go out to a theater and we have no distractions around us. For us as a family, we love discovering new content together. So my son may see something on uh, a friend of his on their parent's smartphone, for example, we'll go home and download it, but first I'll try it out. So I think that's one thing that has really helped us is that either I'll try it out or my husband will try it out and we'll kind of discover to make sure that it's okay for our son. What I also notice is that when we go into any app store and we view the apps, it's such a visual experience for him. So as soon as he sees something that catches his eye, he wants to try that right away sometimes it's not appropriate so we have to have that conversation with him that no you can't play this first person shooter game because you're only four. What I think is really interesting about how my son uses technology is that there are a lot of times where he does want to engage with his parents particularly my husband he loves to play Minecraft with his dad and that's one of their favorite things to do together. They cuddle up on the couch. There's two modes to Minecraft if you don't know. A creative mode and a survival mode and he's only allowed to play the survival mode when he's with his dad. So it's fun to watch them interact and this is something that they do together which is great. You know I think they have a lot of quality time doing that and I think it's something that's a really important part of our life as a family. My son is definitely into games whether he's playing Minecraft or he's downloaded an app. He really loves the idea of playing with in the app. So what I find interesting watching him use these different apps and playing Minecraft is it's not just about the game, for example, it's also about the viewing experience on YouTube. He watches other kids playing Minecraft on YouTube and I never anticipated that at all. So it's interesting to see him go to different platforms and do such different things that I would never even have guessed. One of the interesting things is when he finds YouTube videos that he wants to watch and they're swearing in those videos, of course we have to have that conversation that he's not allowed to watch those videos. So we've been able to kind of work together and identify some of the videos he is allowed to watch and he's very respectful. I mean, I'm surprised, he's only four and a half and he will still watch videos and ask me, say, mom, is this okay if I watch this and I will approve it and he's good with it. So I feel as though it's a conversation that's happening, not just us talking at him, but it's a conversation that we're all having together as a family. I think a lot of parents have a hard time figuring out the exact time that a kid should spend in front of the screen. What I find is that at the end of the day, my son loves to go outside and play in the playground or play in the backyard more than anything. I mean, he'll sit down and have downtime with technology, but at the end of the day, that's not what he's doing the whole time he's awake, so it's okay. So he has great balance, and I think really that's what it's all about.